and hello, I'm Vitreus, and welcome to Pony Palace. Last time I went over an episode of My Little Pony that didn't make my top 20 list, and most of the time was spent with me wondering how. This time I'm happy to say we are going to go over one that did make my list. So, coming in at number 15? Really? Only 15? Ugh. Um, today's episode is Sonic Rain Boom, which is actually the one right after the Pinky Sense episode. Okay, I swear, this is a fluke. I am not going in order with this. I swear. Play the theme song. is practicing for the best Young Flyers competition, which for her includes a three-step procedure. Step one is agility. Two is spinning the clouds. And three is the sonic rain boom, which is where the problem is. Instead of trying to figure out what is going wrong with the move, she actually seems more focused on Fluttershy's poor cheering skills. Yay. Ugh. You're gonna cheer for me like that? Louder. Yay. Louder! Yay. Louder! <gasps> Yay. Ugh. Too loud. Yeah, her cheering's a little more hushed than Rainbow Dash wants it. To fix the problem, Rarity proposes that Twilight gets them into Cloudsdale. As I've mentioned before, Earth Ponies and Unicorns can't get into Cloudsdale because they would fall through the clouds. So they find a spell that gives them wings. But Twilight can only do it once because of its difficulty. probably a mistake. With the rest of them, Twilight manages to find a walking on cloud spell that was a lot easier. So after taking Twilight's balloon to Cloudsdale, at least I think it's Twilight's balloon. The ownership of the balloon is never actually mentioned. But that is Twilight's cutie mark on it. When they get to Cloudsdale, they meet up with Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. At this point, I kind of realize that no one is helping Rainbow Dash. Not Fluttershy who was told to be more aggressive, and in trying to do so, winds up making everything worse. That's nothing but an old mare's tale. You don't have the skills to try something like that. Now wait just a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be more assertive. Anyhow, she is going to do a sonic rain boom. No, she's not, because there's no such thing. Then show up at the Cloudiceum and see for yourself. If you're free. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll be there. See you then, Rainbow Crash. Did you see that? I was so assertive. <sighs> Those guys are right. Well, <laughs> she's not feeding frogs to hydras this time, at least. Oh, uh, and Rarity uh, just multiplies all the problems. As everyone loves her beautiful butterfly wings, 
Which makes Rainbow Dash a bit more worried. Don't listen to them. You're gonna win that competition for sure. Are you kidding? I can't do the Sonic Rainboom. And just look at these boring, plain old feathered wings. I'm doomed. Now Twilight tells Rarity to stop showing off, but that actually causes more problems. Rarity, we're supposed to be helping Rainbow Dash relax, remember? Put your wings away and stop showing off. Oh, how can you ask me to put away perfection? Rainbow Dash, are you okay? You don't look so good. Of course, why wouldn't I be okay? Everyone's so in love with Rarity's wings that they won't even notice when I totally blow it in the Best Young Flyers competition. Hey, there's an idea. You should enter the competition. Yeah, I could watch you fly all day long. It's also surprising that they don't already have a rule in place for this very thing. Yeah, it would be one of those rules they all make fun of, like the law against making clam chowder with tomatoes in Massachusetts. But you would think there would be a rule against no magical wings. Rainbow Dash decides to switch numbers with their competition under the logic that none of them looked at the numbers before, until she takes it on the last one, number 15, from... <laughs> okay, she is dumb, so uh, she probably didn't know what number she had to begin with. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rarity just asks for more time and gets it. Kind of unfair, but there is one more thing that actually bothers me about this. Due to time restraints, Rarity and Rainbow Dash have to go on at the same time. So, you only plan to have time for 14 of the 15 X? What?! Well, I guess either someone took too much time, and well, Derpy was one of the last performers. That was an act I wish they showed us. At least the stadium still looks to be in good shape after she was finished. Or the alternate theory that Rarity joining actually caused this. In which case, they shouldn't have let her enter in the first place. Now, to show you what Rarity chose to wear during this. <laughs> Proceed. Number 15, let's go. Ready. Look, lady. That is hilarious! There's overboard, then there's way overboard, and then there's beyond that where that costume is. <laughs> what makes this even more ridiculous is that the other Pegasi didn't even wear anything when they went out to perform. Which means we missed the live nude pony show. Darn it! Anyway, the two are forced to perform together due to what might be Derpy or Rarity's fault, and for a completely improvised act, Rarity actually does pretty well. Rainbow Dash, on the other hand, blunders her first two phases. You know, the two she actually knew. So to save her act, she actually has to nail the Sonic Rainboom. So they both fly up to the sky when Rarity has a... We'll call it a wardrobe malfunction and plummets back to Earth. Again, forcing the Wonderbolts, well, half of them anyway, to rush and save her. But she knocks them out. So Rainbow Dash dives down to save Rarity and manages to perform the Sonic Rainboom while saving her and the Wonderbolts. After everyone has recovered, Rarity apologizes and Rainbow Dash becomes friends with her bullies. Uh, hey, Rainbow Crash. Dash! Oh, uh, sorry, Rainbow Dash? Damn it, I thought her name was Rainbow Crash! Why did you let me be so mean to her for all these years? Uh, we just wanted to congratulate you on winning the competition. That Sonic Rainboom was awesome! Thanks, guys. Uh, we're really sorry we gave you such a hard time before. Ah, uh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Hey, do you want to hang out with us? Uh, maybe you could show us how you did that incredible trick. Sorry, boys. But I've got plans. And then she walks off with the Wonderbolts. Well, not before winning the best young flyer competition from Celestia. I know she is, my dear. That's why, for her incredible acts of bravery and her spectacular Sonic Rainboom, I'm presenting the grand prize for Best Young Flyer to this year's winner, Ms. Rainbow Dash. So, Twilight Sparkle, did you learn anything about friendship from this experience? I did, Princess, but I think Rarity learned even more than me. 
wait a minute. Is that Lyra in the background? How did she get up there? Well, you know what? Next time, we are just going to have to look into a unicorn that can apparently get into Cloudsdale. See you then.